let's go ahead with a very simple uh, let's understand a simple screen screen painter this is a module pool let's create a simple module pool program just to understand the flow just to understand the flow so we have we have to do a screens we have to build the skins we need to create a sc38 we need to create a module pool program see if we have created a executable programs we created include programs now we need to create a module pool program and then we need to create screens in sc51 okay screen designer this is called screen painter so screen painter will be doing it in sc51 and then we'll be going ahead and creating the transaction code in sc93 so now in in report programs transaction code was optional transaction code was optional in report programs but in this it's mandatory you cannot execute the program directly you have to use the uh, you you have to use the transaction code for sure it's mandatory so we'll go ahead with sc38 we'll first create a program we'll just simply write one simple text in the screen and we'll build it in sc51 and then we'll create a transaction code and execute and see that's it so uh, we'll just understand the flow now so these are the three transaction codes that we are going to make use of now and let's start with the concept So we'll go to SC38. We'll see, we'll write a simple program like ZDXC underscore sample. Click on create and now sample module pool. Now here we have to select the module pool here. Instead of this uh, executable element, we have to use the module pool and click on save. And then we'll go ahead with So we'll write, we'll not write anything in this program. I just saved as a module pool. If you observe previously, we used to get report here. Now we are getting program. So it's activated now. This is set DXC sample. Now we'll go ahead with the SC51. We'll go to SC51 transaction. And uh, we have to create a program with a uh, screen with the same number. This is the same number. We have to give it and then we have to go ahead with 100 click on create so in the flow logic we'll have this uh, modules so we just need to uncomment these things then we need to go for layout in the layout we'll write simple one simple text We'll click on this layout and that will open up a layout actually so in this i will go for this
so once a screen uh, layout opens in the screen layout we can design what we want in that out in the in that screen for example I, i'm as of now we'll write one just simple text we'll write one simple text like uh, something something like vikramaditya and then we'll save it and activate when we execute the transaction code that text will appear once we understand this process we'll do a, a real time scenario when we use the same process so we are doing this just to understand the flow of the uh, module pull program still not coming it's opening this actually it should it should open a layout okay so this graphical app, graphical design is not active so okay i'm design i'm writing something in the string save it back activate so once it's up we'll go ahead with sc93 z dxc underscore S one sample one three eight sample screen and it should be module program and screen only. So previously, if you remember, we have selected program and selection screen. Now we it should be program and screen only. We just say okay. Then here we need to give that name of the program. the screen number is 100 save it so z z dxc s so we'll just type z dxc underscore s1 now what was that Set 